If you're an in-house IT sys admin or a mobile service technician in the IT industry, you carry an arsenal of tools with you, whether it be from a physical point of view, such as spare parts, cables, backplanes, RAMs, procs, hard drives, maybe some motherboards, heat sinks, plugs, etc., terminators, Cat5 lead, Cat6 lead, Cat7 lead, right through to tools from a software point of view that you may use on a laptop or a tablet as such. SSH client access, RDC systems, a myriad of software. Well, old mate here at the Backyard Tech Channel has got another piece of software that you may want to consider adding to your arsenal of diagnosis systems. It's product review time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, we're going to take a look at Termix, a complete Linux, Unix, SSH, GitHub, and compiler piece of software that you can run on your Android device. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is product review time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. And unfortunately, this is only for Android. Now, the iOS equivalent is Blink Shell, but I don't have iOS. I've got Android, so we're going to be taking a look at Termix. Now, I've been using Termix for a week now, which has proved to be, I guess you can say, handy considering the problems I've been having lately. And it's really, really easy to use. Not only that, if you have got a mobile phone and you've got a Bluetooth keyboard, you can actually use it to work with Termix. So we'll bring this up and then I'll show you it on my mobile phone. So this is it here. Uh, Termix is an Android terminal emulator and Linux environments app that works directly with no routing or setup required. A minimal base system is installed automatically and additional packages are available using the app package manager. So you can see here, you can remote access uh, SSH clients from OpenSSH. Termix combines standard packages with accurate terminal emulation in a beautiful open source solution. Uh, it's feature packed, it's customizable, it's explorable, ready to scale up. And as you can see there, you can develop stuff by compiling C files with Clang and build your own projects with CMake and PKG config. OpenGDB trace is available, and if you get stuck, you've got full debug. You can also do stuff with GitHub. You can see there, if you want to install through our package manager system known for Debian and Ubuntu, why not start with you know installing Git and syncing some of your dot files to it. Now, I've been using this to access my firewall to try and figure out what's been going on. It got a hell of a use on Friday and through Saturday. But I've also used it at my mate's computer business. He had a problem with his firewall, couldn't get into it. I was able to get to it from an SSH session. And it is, it's really good. Now we know that PuTTY's available. Okay, you can use PuTTY, but this is a complete Linux-like environment for your mobile device, whether it be a Android tablet or Android mobile phone. So I thought I'd give you a quick sticky peek at it and um, show you what it's all about. If I can get it up close enough. And there we go. So you can see there you can do all sorts of stuff. Now, I can go into... Um, I'll go into the back end of, of uh, something, say... Um, Plex. Okay? So... What you do is you go, and type in the address. I don't have a way of capturing this on my phone, so. Uh, actually, no, I know what we'll do. We'll go into ESXi. Oh, no, we will. We'll go into, it's all right, I couldn't remember the address of my Plex server. Okay. So you can see there, all right, we'll go yes with that. And you can see there it's asking for my, uh, 
It's asking for my um, password into SSH on Plex. And so you type in your password. Did I get the right password? I think so. And you can see there that uh, Plex needs to restart. But there you go, there's the SSH into my Plex. And I can sit here with my phone or my tablet, my Android tablet, and fix whatever's got to be fixed. Okay? Now, if you run, if you're uh, responsible for Linux systems or even um, getting into, say, ILO systems or um, DRAC systems, etc., or even um, SSH into Sun systems, okay? This is a really, really good little program. But not only that, if you are um, the sort of person who may, you know, be responsible for Git projects and the like, you can actually use this to sync your Git projects to and work on your Git systems. Um, it, it, it really is very good. Now, obviously, you know, I can do a lot with it. It's actually better than putty for android okay so if you're into coding and compiling stuff and you want to create little things i say little because obviously you're limited to your, your mobile devices capabilities all right that's a given it's not going to be the same as running a full you know mobber x term which i use all the time or um you know some sort of ssh survey into you know a unix or a linux back end but if, you know, during your lunch break, you're working on some sort of, um, you know, Git project or whatever, you can actually use this program to do it and sit there, you know, not just on your phone. So you've got an Android tablet, which is obviously going to be a bit easier to use. You can sit there and use this to work on your projects. Now, as I said, the iOS equivalent is called Blink Shell, but I don't have anything iOS. So... Um, I, I don't know. If someone, one of my viewers has an iPhone, wants to have a look at Blink Shell, see if it's like Termix, go ahead. But I, I think this is just, this is awesome. And, I mean, I can get into, um, I can get out of that. And, it, I mean, it's all the commands you would use in an SSH session work in this, you know. So I might want to go into, say, uh, uh, ESXi. So what you do is, as usual with any Linux or Unix, you type, you might just be able to see it there. There we go. You type SSH. Okay? So I might want to go to... Um, I'm just being lazy with this, with my... ESXi system, so um, I've actually got the SSH open in the ESXi at the moment because I'm modding some of my um, operating systems. So, you know, uh, so you can see there, same thing. And then I type in the password. And there is, you know, an SSH session into um, ESXi. So, and now if I want to install a package, I'm going to get out of this. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to capture. Um, so, now, if you like to use Nano or VI, I prefer Nano. All right. Now, I've been I've been clobbered for using Nano because a lot of people out there say you use VI or nothing. All right. I prefer Nano. I've said this before. It comes down to personal preference. All right. But say you like Nano. All right. Now you can see there that it's not installed. So I can actually go PKG install N A N O. Okay, P 
PKG install nano. And I'll do this. Do I want to continue? Yes, I do want to continue. Well, oh. what have I done there? Yes. It'll now go off and install nano. And you end up with nano 298-1. And you can go into nano. And you get a complete nano. So, now the only problem is getting out of nano is not exactly easy. I've got to find a way of uh, getting out of it now. Oh, hang on. Could be problematic here. Yeah, okay, so I've now got into a problem where I can't get out of it. Um, no, that's not it. Hang on. <laughs> got a problem. Okay, so for Nano, you'd probably want to use your keyboard, um, which is unfortunate, but oh, I can't get out of this now, can I? <laughs> oh, dear. Um... I might have to get a keyboard connected to it. Um, no, there we go. No. Ah. No. There we go. Fixed. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Got out of it. But um, that took a bit of time. I forgot about how to do that. But there's Termix. Now, as I said, if you use an Android device, really good. If you use a iOS device, there's, I think there's Termis and there's Blink Shell. But I know with this, and I'm, I love this because, as I said, I've used it a few times. I'll leave a link in the description below for it uh, for the Android but if anyone's using iOS um, and running blink shell let me know if it's the same as Termix um, I just happened to come across it because I realized <laughs> um, whilst thing is good this has a lot more stuff in it a lot more stuff in it which is really good so there we go quick product review of Termix see what else crops up during the day here at the backyard tech channel have a good one, guys. Cheers.